They have different names, faces, and backgrounds, but a common experience. Before coming here in Bethlehem, I was working in a TV station in a um, corporate university of TV station at the same time with Film Outfit. I was working then as a training officer. And then while I was working, I admit that I had a good job, I had a good experience, but then one trip here in Holy Land changed me. It changed my decision and it changed my outlook in life. My vocation began in my childhood years when I was an altar boy in my parish. Later, after meeting the friars, I had the desire to come to the Holy Land to help with the needs of the custody. I received my call three or four years ago during the Franciscan March. I found out that the lives of friars and sisters are not just made of prayers, but also of an inner joy, even though they possess nothing. They do not have cars, they are not married and have no children, but you see them happy as they sing and dance. The young people called to become Franciscan friars are not many. Every story is unique, but they live together to test their call. They remain in the shelter home of the seminary in Bethlehem, the only center of the custody in the Holy Land that has been open for four years for this purpose. Here are the young boys who come to experience this journey for the first time to get to know the Holy Land and the custody. These youngsters who came from different countries will stay here until July, a nine-month journey that they are enjoying together. The aspirant friars come from seven different nations, Palestine, the Philippines, India, Korea, and various areas of Latin America. Well, first and foremost, the language was a barrier because we don't have any common language. But then little by little as the months uh, passed by, we, we were able to look for a common ground where we can communicate to each other. For example, we are still currently studying Italian, and I think that helps us. Not only the study of the language, but also the liturgy of the hours, the Eucharist, breakfast, then work or catechism class or history of the custody class, vespers in the evening, dinner and a time for sharing with the greater community of Bethlehem, daily gestures that will reveal if the Franciscan life is the right way. My impression of this place is positive. When you leave your country, the discovery of other cultures opens your mind. It shows you other people's ways. You find other ideas and meet different people, and this makes you grow. At first it was difficult, especially for my family, because I am an only child. But after leaving everything behind, I found great joy. It's a total change from a fast-faced life of TV, of entertainment, of training, and then here I am. I lost, of course, my previous lifestyle, my previous work, and all that I have in the Philippines, but I found a better one here in the Holy Land, here in Bethlehem. I found brothers, I found a community, I found a spirituality, and of course, I found a new way to follow the Lord Jesus.